Another uh, force that acts on the propeller is the thrust bending force. So if we have a propeller and it's rotating at a particular velocity, then the propeller will be producing some, some thrust. And we can think of this thrust being developed at the master station. So the master station is approximately 75% of the, the length of the propeller blade, so somewhere out here. So effectively, we have a thrust vector acting at this, this moment. And that's going to cause the propeller blades to, to bend. And they should bend something like that. So that's, that's the thrust bending force. Another uh, force that the propeller um, experiences is the torque bending moment. So if I have a propeller, it will be producing some thrust. And along with the thrust, we get some uh, torque. Consider this lift and drag. So the torque is acting at the the trailing edge of the of the propeller blade. So if I look uh, straight on here, I have a propeller rotating in this direction. The thrust is coming out towards me, and this is our our torque vector. And this is occurring at a at a distance from the center line, and it's going to cause the propeller to to bend back uh, in the opposite the direction on which the propeller is rotating. So the torque bending force opposes the rotational motion of propeller blades. This force tends to bend the propeller blades back in the opposite direction. So what we would get is instead of the blades being like this, they must bend back something like that. So that's uh, thrust bending moment and the torque bending force.